Hello, everybody. Um, I'm trying something new. Uh, that Power Director thing that I used to record that uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 video. Apparently, it has a capture device thing, so... I think I'm going to be using this from now on, if it works out well for me, to record my videos. You know, just tell me what you think about the audio and video. Um, that'll be that. So, I think right now we have to go and talk to Ord, and he'll give us a, an item. Yep. Oh, you've come. Sir Adel. Hey, you came! Your timing is quite impeccable. Actually, I must speak with you about something, sir. You two, could you leave Adol and me alone for a bit? What? Why, Dad? I'm only formally thanking him for selflessly rescuing everyone. I understand, Uncle. Come, uh, let us go. Well, if you say so, Orha. Adol, I cannot adequately express how helpful you have been to our village. You did well to save Ur and the others from those demonic soldiers. I'd hate to weigh you down with an even greater burden, sir. But... But I ask that you listen to my tale of Alma, the Ark, and the Keys. This could take a while. In the distant past, yes, a past unimaginably far away. So far away that you could never understand how immediately far away it could possibly be, possibly unimaginably, possibly. Indeed. It is said there was a land of winged gods to the west of here. Our Alma descended on Kanan from this land. She guarded the Ark of Napishtam, which controlled the heavens and the seas to maintain a peaceful world. Our Redden ancestors also took part in guarding the Ark, as a people loyal to Alma. But one day, a calamity occurred. A faction of tailless ones, also worshippers of Alma, they thieved the sword-shaped raven black key used to control the Ark. They used the Ark's power so that they might become like gods. But even with the key, they could not possibly do as the gods did. Eventually, the Ark went haywire, the heavens and the seas grew wild, and the world was faced with a crisis. Betrayed by the people, Alma sadly created three new keys to replace the sword-shaped black key. She finally succeeded in calming the Calamity, and managed to seal the Ark. And then, having used up her strength, Alma was sublimated. Her remains were used as a cornerstone of the seal. For ages, this legend has been passed down to all Redhead chiefs. That black-haired man is likely a descendant of the tailless ones who stole the Black Key. He aims to exploit the bloodline of our priestesses. He'll use Isha to make the Ark completely his. Adol, take this. With this, you'll be able to enter the ruins northwest of here at Windseeker Heights. Underneath the ruins lies a city where our ancestors lived, still perfectly preserved the way it used to be. It is said that in the lowest depths, one shall find the dark corridor that Alma passed through to seal the Ark. Adol, the soul that possesses the three keys. Do you think the three keys were drawn to you by mere chance? It was all due to Alma's guidance, even the one I bequeathed you. Therefore, I know that I don't need to ask this of you, but... I wish to leave everything in your hands, including Isha's care. Okie dokie. So he gave that, us that wyvern medal or something. Hey! You guys were sure talking for a long time. It's a medallion type thing. We, uh, it's pretty much how we access the final dungeon. What were you talking about with him? Was it about Isha? Stop it, Ura. Don't go troubling Sir Adol. <laughs> Besides, I must go change Uncle's bandages, so come and help me. Alright, if I have to. I hate that job. Hey, you better tell me everything later on. I won't. I'm Sir mute. Adel. Ellipses? 
sorry, it's nothing. Oh, it's always nothing um, with you. Go look after me, Uncle now. You know, first tear and then you. All the shallow love interests always have to say, um, oh, it's nothing. Uh, see you later. Uh, uh. Yep. Advanced and developed drama. Something. You know, it's kind of funny that this whole, um, Wing of Alma thing, when we do it, it's... It's going to be kind of pitiful, just because this is right at the end of the game. And, uh, yeah, it's just... It's gonna be ridiculously easy, basically. But there's... a good... I don't even know how many trials. Maybe seven, eight, maybe more? Anyways. Yeah, the Wing of Alma thing is, um... Something that we would like to do. It doesn't give you a whole lot aside from um, just some basic stuff. stuff. Oh yeah, since we're going to the final dungeon, uh, we actually still do have a few things to do, but we're not high enough level to do them. Even though we're high enough of a level to go and. Uh, attempt the final dungeon, but to kill those mini-bosses, uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go through the dungeon, level up a bunch, and then we'll probably be ready to fight the... fight the boss-type things. Ow. We'll be, we'll be ready to fight the mini-bosses. Um, so we'll probably just get to the end of the arc of... Or, you know, the final dungeon, and... My brain hurts, okay? Maybe I'm having a little bit of trouble speaking, but... <clears throat> yeah, we'll get to the end of the dungeon, and then we'll go back out and we'll c accomplish anything on the overworld we need to do. That's basically what I'm trying to say. We'll try and fight the... Uh, or, we'll try and find the white tabulas. Tabulas, um... All that good stuff. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Let's go on ahead and put this thing in here. Medale. Med Medale? Medale? I don't know. It's a funny word. I'm just gonna call it a medallion. Yep. Secret passageway. And this place actually has some pretty crazy music. It's all wacky and trance-like. Yes, they chose techno music for the final dungeon. What of it? <laughs> it is a cool place, though. I like it. And yeah, these these enemies will give you a crap load of um, you know height healing items, and crystals, and all that. Ammo. I mean, I'm sorry, I haven't played the game in like a week. Whoa! Calm down, there, buddy. So we'll probably be leveling pr up pretty fast in this dungeon. And enemies can hurt me, so I'm going to try and be careful while I'm fighting. Here's a, uh, I guess you could call him the mini boss. Yeah, I mean, he has a health bar and all that. Not necessarily a very challenging mini boss, though. You can almost kill him without even him trying to attack you. Like this. It's an extremely bo broken mini boss. <laughs> oh yeah, and this thing, uh, it actually it tries to heal its allies, but you can just 
run into the health thing and it'll heal you up. I always thought it was kind of funny. But yeah, it does heal up your enemies, so... Try and steal it before it does so. Like that. And, uh, yeah, just trying to stab these guys normally doesn't work, so jump stab them. We're out of time, too. Also, once they're out of enemies to heal, they just kind of run around staring at you for a little bit. Like, how's the weather? So you can just kill them. First time I thought they only healed you, like they were trying to heal you, so I tried not to kill them. That was pretty funny. Anyways, we gotta stop for now, so see you later.